Hey, all you homesteader wannabes, welcome back to Castle Farms Homestead. I thought I'd take a moment and show you what uh, project I've been involved in here for, oh shoot, I spent probably four or five hours on it last night and another couple hours at least this morning here. But uh, since I was inside, I thought this would be a good housekeeping activity, something that you guys might want to do as well. If you're like me and tend to get a little disorganized here and there, um, this is a good organizational thing that might help you out when it comes to spring planting. Let me show you what I've been doing. For the past, oh, who knows how long, I have been storing all of my seeds and other things that go, some of the other things that go along with the gardening in these two containers, a basket and a metal container that we've been able to store then on a, on a shelf. For some reason, Bobby didn't want to have the seeds strewn all over the house, so they all went in these bins. And uh, it was really kind of a mess, actually. Um, right now you don't see that mess because I've already done something about it, but they were, I had seeds in envelopes that I had, I had, uh, um, collected seeds, harvested seeds. I had all kinds of seeds in plastic bags that <laughs> also that I had harvested or gotten in different places. I had catalogs and books and things in, in here that, that I use. Um, I have, oh, I had uh, other bags and things of, of different seeds. And so, what's amazing is that now I look at this and I think, how in the world did I have all that I had in these two containers? Because now this one's still full of stuff that I'm not putting in my organizer. And and this one's still got some stuff in it too, although I'll throw all this stuff away. But this, um, this Valentine's Day, Bobby got me a seed organizer container. It's actually a photo organizer. This is what it looks like. And she actually got me a colored one, one with different colors. And we decided we didn't want to do that. We wanted to have clear. And so we started looking around, and we ended out going and getting a couple of these from Hobby Lobby. And they're supposed to hold four by six photos. And um, but they're great for putting seeds in. Let's see if I can do this here, one-handed without dropping them off my lap. But they're little containers like that. And you can put things in them, of course. There, I've got a little growing guide from True Leaf Market. I'm going to drop that off my lap, one-handed. Ah. And so anyway, I started putting my seeds in them. And uh, in, quickly, I found out that I needed more than two of these. And so we went back to Hobby Lobby and got two more. So now I have four containers. with all my seeds in them and this is awesome because like right now i've got this one has my herbs in it my herbs these have my vegetables i need two just for those and i've tried to keep keep them in alphabetical order so you can see i've got my a through c and on and on but Funny thing was, my brain must work backwards. When I first put these in, I put the started the A's over here, and then later I'm going, what am I doing? I've got those backwards. I should be starting from left to right, not right to left. Then Bobby saw these, and she said, well, I would have started them with the A's at the top and worked down or across, whatever, but it would have started at the top. Yeah, well, they're mine, so I can do it how I want. Quit bugging me. Oops, did I say that out loud? 
<laughs> no, but anyway, um, so yeah, this is easy to find my different uh, types of vegetables. I even have some of them divided a couple. So beans are just not just beans, they're bush beans and pole beans. Um, what are some of the others that I did that to? I think I, um, I have, oh, my squashes I have in winter and summer squash. So that they would, here's my other vegetables there. Let's see. So yeah, I've got my summer and winter squash, even two things of winter squash, because I have so many of them. But yeah, and I have a few extras and for when I expand, Bobby says, oh, that's not good. You have expansion spots. You can get, you'll have to get more seeds, <laughs> which is good for me. I don't know why she said that's a bad thing. But then here I have my flowers. I've got them labeled. So I just use, I got some little cheapy, uh, um, removable stickers from Dollar Tree that I've been using to label all these things, which is kind of cool. So that's pretty neat. Now I can just store those away, and they even stack on top of each other, which is kind of cool. They have little ridges on these things that the bottom of the other package then stacks right inside of. That's kind of nice. We looked at a, a couple of different styles of these, and we like this one better because the handle was stronger. Uh, in fact, uh, one of them, it was almost like a double handle thing, but one of the handles flipped over to make the clasp. I didn't like that. But anyway, so this is kind of nice. Okay, you can even just look in from the top and see what's there. And I need to access it. So it might be something you guys want to try out. It was pretty simple. Unfortunately, I didn't get rid of everything. I'll still have have this stuff here because these these things are just too too big to put in so but uh and i'll still need to have my my books and catalogs and stuff as well this may take a little while to do but in the long run you're going to be glad you did uh, when it comes to organization bobby always tells me that being well organized is the key to having more time <clears throat> and if you're like us you typically find you don't have enough time in the day to do all the things that you want to do. So if you're well organized, you'll be able to find more time to do those things. The other thing is, is that, um, Bobby always tells me, is that when you're organized, and she's, she's really good about this kind of stuff. She knows her organization stuff. Um, to be organized, you need to have things that are well confined and well defined. And I think that's exactly what this does. It confines it in these boxes. And then the labeling defines it where it is. Easy to find, takes no time, saves you time. Granted, this uh, took a little while to do. I mean, several hours to, to take everything that I had and put it in the boxes and, and organize it alphabetically and label it and everything else. That took quite a while to do. But now I have easy access to what I want to get, as well as I can easily tell what I still need to get. If I'm going through and I and I'm checking my list of what I want to grow and 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 all I can see quickly, do I have this? Before I had to just about pull everything out of that container to get into every bag and start. I mean, I tried to have them separated by peppers and tomatoes and that type of thing, but still, I was having to pull almost everything out of the box before I could even see what peppers I had, because I had to find the pepper bag before I could even see what was in the bag. But now I can just pull out, I know my vegetables, I can pull out P for peppers, open it up, grab the peppers, open that up, quickly see which peppers I have and which ones I might need to get, um, or which ones I might have four or five <laughs> more than I need of, <laughs> which seems to be the case because I wasn't organized. And when I go buy more vegetable seeds, I'd buy more than I already have. <laughs> so anyway, I think this is a good way to do it. Um, it really wasn't that expensive. And now I can store them away, quickly access them, pull out what I need, and uh, be organized for my, for my planting, gardening. Uh, so try it out. If it's something you want to do, spend a little time, but it'll be worth it in the end.
And that helps me be one step closer to being organized and more self-reliant. So have a great day. We'll see you next time on Castle Farms Homestead.